Smile and learn. Hi there. This team is investigating viruses and bacteria. Will you help them identify the similarities and differences between them? Let's start with something they have in common. Both viruses and bacteria can cause diseases. Bacteria and viruses that cause diseases are called pathogens. These pathogens can produce diseases like gastroenteritis, for example. Have you ever had it? I hope not. It may give you a tough time. First similarity to note down: bacteria and viruses can cause diseases. Both viruses and bacteria spread very easily through direct contact with objects, the air, or water. The elements through which viruses and bacteria are transmitted are called vectors. Second similarity to write down in our notebook: bacteria and viruses are transmitted by different vectors. Bacteria are prokaryotic cells that carry out the three vital functions of nutrition, interaction, and reproduction by themselves. That's why we regard them as living organisms. By contrast, viruses need a host to reproduce. They cannot carry out the three vital functions by themselves. That's why viruses are not considered to be alive. Let's note down the first difference: bacteria are living organisms, while viruses are not. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. In fact, some viruses can infect bacteria. In this picture, you can see a comparative relation of the sizes of viruses and bacteria. One more difference to write down in our notebook: viruses are much smaller than bacteria. If we compared the structure of a virus to that of a bacteria, we would find several differences. Viruses don't have organelles, while bacteria do have them. The genetic material of viruses is inside a capsid. The genetic material of bacteria is found free in the cytoplasm. Bacteria have flagella. Viruses don't. Some viruses may have a covering, while bacteria are surrounded by a cell membrane. Another difference to note down: the structure. To cure diseases caused by bacteria, it is necessary to take antibiotics. However. The best means to fight a disease caused by a virus is a vaccine. Vaccines help us to prevent diseases caused by viruses. The last difference to note down: medical treatment of diseases. As you can see, there are many differences and some similarities between both microscopic organisms. One similarity. Is that both bacteria and viruses can cause diseases. Also, both are transmitted by different vectors. On the other hand, their differences lie in the fact that bacteria are living organisms, while viruses aren't. Viruses are much smaller than bacteria. They have different structures. The diseases they cause are cured following different medical treatments. That's all for now. Our science investigation notebook looks so complete.
hoping to see you again on our next investigation. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.